Hey folks, Trace Monk here. Playing some XCOM 2. I start us up a new game on Veteran. Because I still haven't finished a game. I've just been playing off and on and off and on. And we're going to keep the beginner VO on. Let's start our game. And we're going to play Bronze Man, not Iron Man. Excitement continues to build as city centers across the globe prepare for the 20th anniversary of Unification Day. Thousands line up at the site of the Great Accord, celebrating the formation of the Advent Coalition. Keeping with their promise to humanity, 12 new gene therapy clinics will be opening in select cities by the end of the new year. Despite the attempted attack by fringe elements, operations at the new facility in Paris thankfully remain unaffected. In response to the unprovoked intrusion on the eve of our most beloved celebration, the speaker reaches out to us. A small number of dissidents again repeat the mistakes of the old world. Striking as we celebrate the benevolent savior who time and again offers only friendship and compassion. Yet these trivial actions could never break the bond between humanity and the elders. Keeping forces have already made several preemptive arrests of known collaborators. Advent again assures all citizens that today's celebrations will continue as planned. Perfect. The Advent administration reminds you to report all suspicious activity to your position. You were right. They've definitely got their hands full today. Stay focused. Prep gate crasher. 60 seconds. As always, Operation Gate Crasher. To that effect, we're moving in to take out a high-profile target that will get plenty of people's attention, especially Advent. Move to lock down the area and eliminate any security forces nearby. Fix on the target. Move to place the X4 charges at the designated position. Okay. Position confirmed. Really? I mean, I guess you don't have much choice but to move around your, you know, squad mates there, but. Okay, 
je bouge. Moving to position. Yeah, this isn't probably going to be as... thought we'd get over there first, but may not really be able to very quickly. Orders confirmed. On the move. Je rejoins la position. Moving to designated coordinates. Moving. I still think that's probably worth it. Said this way. That's affirmative. And then see if we can get on that roof. Not this turn, anyway. I would worry about being able to be spotted too. Nice thing about this particular Shot. mission is that we're not on a we're not in any time pressure. Moving out. But we can actually take our time here. What was that? Yeah, that was the there are totally aliens over here signal <laughs> is that how you you have to go up that okay well that sucks moving to designated position should be able to move up there okay there's as one five you're near the target position these guys make up and the there's bulk another of the pot of troops. They're disciplined and well equipped, but their obedience makes them predictable. Okay, so we can get two people up in full cover where they're unlikely to be seen at all. You, unfortunately, we have to basically put in Die. no cover. Go, go, go. Yes. Aff might as well be no. Okay, we want to get closer. We also do not want to alert them, which is unfortunate because we can't. From our current positioning, we cannot take them all out in one grenade. Which is what I like to call problematic. Because if you can take a group out in one grenade, that's what you should really be shooting for. Um, we can probably do it okay. from here with her. But that does yeah, that give us vision on another pod. We're not sure whether to chalk it up to training or stricter mind control. That was a little bit of what I was worried about there. Was that somebody would have vision on her. Because of that. Let's grenade these guys. Okay. 
Position view. confirmed. Here. No good shots. Move you here. And move you up to the front of the truck or move you there. At this point, this could still be a sound strategy. Okay. Nobody has a good shot, cause guess what? Your rookies. Your rookies, they're far away, and you don't have them flanked. Okay. Kate, can you? You can grenade one of them and take them out. I'd kind of prefer to take cover, but grenade. we need to not have. We need to have damage not coming in. Yeah, you both can only see that guy. You got a 25% chance. You got a 25% chance. Yeah. Yeah, I'm thinking we gotta just take these shots here and hope they hit. Because Overwatch is technically going to be less. Nope. Miss, miss. Thank you for missing the half cover soldier. Please miss. Whew! Shannon Cook, you are one lucky girl. Still have vision on him. Still probably have a pretty good shot. You need to get to high cover. But we can wait on that just a little bit. You over here behind this car. Don't blow up the car on yourself, please. Good job, Kate. Okay, so now I'm interested in where can we go and potentially have sight but good cover on this guy. One of those positions is going to be here. Not actually a good shot at all, but it's a shot, I guess. Good job. He went, ran further away. Oh, that is bullshit. grenade because she's our grenadier location. from earlier. Let's go ahead and plant the X4. Menace 15, X4 module is armed. Neutralize any remaining hostile contacts. Maintaining position. We 
we can't see him at all right now. But I know if we move up, we will be. That's affirmative. Stand up here. On Overwatch. En vigilance. I'm on it. First of all, we cannot move you to good cover, and you don't have a grenade. You don't have a grenade either. Damn. Damn, people. Have grenades when I need you to have grenades. Also hate that that's half cover. Bring you around and shoot him in the face. Good copy. Moving on target. That's what you get. Area is secure. We're not picking up any inbound contacts. Scanners are clear. Status confirmed. Squad is clear. It'd kind of be nice if it waited until he said the squad is clear to uh, actually <laughs> show the uh, explosion happening. It sucks that, that wasn't flawless. He got kind of a bullshit shot off on us. It didn't even ever marked. Yeah, I know. She threw a grenade that blew up three Advent soldiers and then killed the officer. Overall, I'd consider that a fairly subpar performance. We can do better. That is kind of a case of where activating two pods left us in a not great spot there. We did manage to deal with them fairly well though. Though I'd say that's only because we were able to completely... Smooth, Commander. Great work. I'd say it was only that smooth because we could manage to immediately take care of the first pod. Who is this? Our specialist is gravely wounded. Some of our most advanced equipment. Specialists deploy robotic drones on the battlefield that can be outfitted for combat or field medic duty. Okay. The Ranger serves as our primary reconnaissance unit, capable of moving independently in concealment while engaging enemies at close range. The Moonjang. Is our ranger? Just like Durand. it sounds, our sharpshooters engage enemy targets with pinpoint accuracy from extreme range. They're also trained in pistol marksmanship for the occasional close encounter. Durand is our sharpshooter. And Harris is our grenadier. Our demolitions experts. The grenadiers provide heavy ordnance delivery whenever and wherever we need it. Good deal. Sorry, you're gravely wounded, Cook. Commander to the research labs. Impressive, isn't it? Capable of generating immense power. 
you're completely harmless to human life. If only the same could be said for the rest of the aliens' technology, Commander. Dr. Richard Tigan, Chief Science Officer. I am responsible for the entirety of our research here, as well as the procedure you so recently underwent. Welcome to my lab, such as it is. I'm not sure what Central may have told you, but we found something while removing you from the alien stasis suit. A device implanted directly in your occipital lobe. Had I access to the equipment available to me during my tenure at Advent, I would already know the precise nature of its function. However, given time and your approval, of course, Commander, I assure you, I will find out. Which brings to light an additional point. Though aspects of this facility are indeed impressive, I am but one man. Were you to direct additional support personnel and resources to me, I could substantially improve the speed of all our research. A farewell, Commander. Right now, Tygen, um, you're it when it comes to research. So, even though we did not get anything from it with modular weapons. I do find that area of research to be among the more intriguing options available. We'll begin work immediately. I'll send word when a complete report is available. Okay. Reworked your repulsors with some of the parts I salvaged from their old engine. Should fix that stabilization problem you had. Come on, Rover. It'll work. <laughs> Commander, getting our tech to talk to theirs is harder than you'd think. Lily Shen, Chief Engineer, at your service. You are probably expecting to see my father. In all that's happened, I'm guessing Central didn't tell you yet. He's gone. Dad gave everything he had to get us this far. This entire ship is his life's work. I know he would have loved to show you around the place himself. He used to talk about you a lot. You can be sure I'm ready to finish what he started. Might not look it, but from here, I can fabricate pretty much anything you come up with. And with a little more help, well, you'd be amazed with what I can do. It was an honor to finally meet you, Commander. Okay, so this is the new Shin. You'd be surprised how big of a difference some of these things can make in combat, Commander. With a few supplies, I can manufacture anything we need in no time. Yeah. I'm gonna go build a flashbang in a med kit, just cuz. And... There's room for us to expand our facilities on board the Avenger, Commander. But where we'll are more things? But we engineers to clear out space for construction first. Power coils are on the bottom. That's bleh. That's bad. So we'll start work on the new facility right away, Commander. I'll send word when it's up and running. Go ahead and start you building that. The city? You must miss some of it. The food? The warm beds? Honestly, none of that really bothers me. What I miss the most is my equipment. Oh, I hadn't thought about that. Advent probably had a pretty nice lab set up for you. There was certainly no shortage of resources on their side. Don't worry. I'm sure the commander will find something nice for you. Commander, good to see you on your feet again. Welcome to the bridge, the nerve center of our operation. The aliens have our entire world in their grip. Advent controls everything. Government, communications, industry. Not to mention the military. And it's on us to take it all back. Resources and time are tight, Commander. It'll be up to you to decide how to best use both. The ship is yours. While we prepare for new operations and continue our research, we can pass time by scanning at sites like this one. On your order, we'll start our scans on the surrounding area. Commander, one of our resistance contacts just tipped us off to a site that may be worth investigating. 
All right, so we can go get some more supplies. Avenger Good. plotting new course. Commander, the Avengers remote scanning capabilities will help us search the area for clues or other resources. It's going to take some time, though. We've got a lot of ground to cover. I do not think I could have predicted this outcome, though it is intriguing. Kind of odd that we have to research this stuff, I, but I guess that's because really what you're researching is the ability to put alien augmentations on your own weapons. Alright, hybrid materials. Valuable applications stemming from this technology. I'll have a report assembled as soon as the research is complete. Strategic resource located. All right. Avenger plotting new course. Now we have a source of some rookies. Let's deal with that. Commander. As the resistance continues to grow, we'll have a better chance of finding openings to strike back at Advent. As it is, we've already identified a potential target to disrupt the aliens' operations in this region. Our window of opportunity is limited, so we'll have to move fast. Okay. We can get an engineer. Inez Martinez. Sounds good to me. Destroy the alien relay. Course for the East African sector. We're gonna go ahead and go with this squad uh, this time around here. Take a rookie so he can level up. Take our other guys so they can hopefully level up. Join me next time for. Operation Icebreaker. See you then.